You're hanging out with your captain of Good Vibes. They call me Quam Books. And Brand Bunda here in studio. And we're about to speak to, uh, you know, on my grind. Mm-hmm. We've got a very special guest. He's a founder. He's one of the co-founders of Bebomat. And uh, he'll be talking to us about e-commerce. Make sure you get your paper and pen ready. Do yeah. we have him online? Yes, we do have. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hello, hi. Hi, can you hear us? And yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay, um, we're just about to see. Remember, guys, you can stream in live on www.vibesradio.co.ke. We're having... Thank you so much for coming through via Skype. My pleasure. Pleasure is mine. So, um, we're going to get right into it. Um, Bebomat, what is Bebomat? Well, uh, Bebomat is an uh, online shopping platform. Uh, it's uh, pretty much... Uh, startup that uh, we founded uh, back in August last year. Mm-hmm. We've been going through leaps and bounds mm-hmm. and uh, we've been cutting a niche into a, uh, a market that is heavily dominated by a huge force, uh, yeah. we all know. Mm-hmm. But our main whole reason getting into this is pro- providing alternative in terms of online shopping and as far as online shopping is, is concerned. Mm-hmm. And that is being, uh, <clears throat> the landscape in e-commerce through a uh, uh, through quality service, through uh, empowering uh, the small vendors and the small scale uh, business people out there uh, yeah. <clears throat> to basically display their products and 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 get new markets. Okay, yeah. so Beba, Be, Be, um, Bebamat is how long have you been in the market? We are eleven months old. Uh-huh. Yeah, officially yeah. we are eleven months old into the market, mm-hmm. and uh, it's been a it's been it's. It's been a worthwhile growing process uh, throughout uh, throughout this particular phase. Yeah. As we also build infrastructure here and there, logistically, mm-hmm. uh, trying to create the market, trying to get as many uh, uh, vendors on board, and trying to empower you know smallholders to to basically sell on the platform. Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. gonna t- we're gonna take a short commercial break. Um, right now, I just want you as the listener go and check out bebamart.co.ke. Did I get that right? Yep, yep. Bebamat.co.k. Right. Okay. And then any questions you have, remember 0719012700, or you can use the hashtag VibesMVP. When we come back, we are speaking to the co founder, that's Collins, and uh, he's going to be telling us what, you know, because setting up a business right now mm-hmm. in COVID times must be crazy. We're going to find out that straight. Do not touch that dial. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. Shout out to everybody coming through on hashtag Vibes MVP. And uh, we've got uh, Collins Okach. He is the co-founder or he's a co-founder mm-hmm. of Bebamat.ca.ke. Now, let me give you a bit about Bebamat. Bebamat is the fastest growing and preferred online shopping marketplace connecting millions of buyers and sellers across the country. Think online shopping. Think Bebamat. I read that on their website. <laughs> <laughs> Check out their website. <laughs> Thank you so much. In case you want to see Kolo, we are Skyping live with him. Uh, on uh, You can check out vibesradio.co.k. Kolo, welcome to the show. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Kolo, beba mati. Yani wewe uliona hizi maap zote zinyeziku hapo kwa sema. Watu watu wengine wanasema nataka kufungwa biashara. Wacha nini nifunge kishop kia mpesa. Wacha ni ndeni you you see what other people are doing but you decided to get into a highly competitive um space. Yeah. True. What true. inspired and, that? Uh, and uh it's a uh, basically I, I've been in the e-commerce industry for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Uh every time I uh, uh <clears throat> Basically, even just growing up, I've always I always thought like uh, um, I mean, online solutions are the future, and and it's evident even as we speak during this particular COVID times, you can actually see that uh, there's always need to embrace online uh, online uh, online online businesses. Mm. So uh, my biggest inspiration, I will say, would be uh, I was always uh, in that in that vibe of trying to solve solution. I mean, to solve problems uh, with tech. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, and and and. and uh, there, there was an opportunity in terms of solving a problem with the brick and mortar businesses. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I mean, I mean, uh, connecting uh, buyers and sellers without that physical. I mean, that so much physical effort yeah. between me buying, between me selling, mm-hmm. be, between me being, having delivered what what I want, yeah. and convenience as well. Uh, so, tech is is one of the things that drives me even to to to, to create uh, the love and, and and the passion for tech is what uh, pushed me to go into uh, e-commerce mm-hmm. and basically uh, create a solution in trying to solve a problem of 
online shopping and trying also to solve a problem on the other hand for vendors who mm. want to sell their products and access a wider yeah. uh, market. And there's a lot yeah. of young people, Brian, a lot mm-hmm. of young people right now are doing their businesses online. I mean, yes. if, you're, if you're trying still to open a shop, mm-hmm. your business is capital proper I'm actually really grateful that you're here because I'm I'm also looking for a platform like this to do my business on but I want we you know we don't do we don't talk to these people about their businesses here if we don't get to know them Collins when you're in school yeah. Yeah. App ya ku, ya ku yeah. you're connecting uh, businesses yeah. what did you want to be when you grew up uh the funny thing is i've actually uh i am a telecommunications engineer by training mm-hmm. and uh that's basically my path uh, my path was was to be an engineer and build all this uh, and be basically in the engineering field yeah but you know you no know, later when you when i was in school uh i got to realize okay yes i want to be an engineer but i'm also looking at the guys who are probably graduating and getting off school at some point when i was especially when i was in my third year mm-hmm. you know I have two years left on my card yeah and i'm looking around i'm like okay uh yes engineering but i'm looking at the time guys are taking from the time they get out of school mm-hmm. and get absorbed in the market yeah. and blah 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 yeah i mean it was such a long stretch so mm-hmm. i said why can't i just find something that i can start doing right now so that it gives me a platform when i get you know when i'm done with my with my undergrad at least i'm somewhere and i can do you know I, I, I can easily get myself absorbed and so, all that and that stuff. was while you were in campus that, yeah that's what that's what, uh, while back in campus so, mm-hmm. so while you were thinking like I, that uh, so so sorry to cut you short while you were thinking like that right you know yeah. It's, yeah. engineering starting your own business I, you think it's capital intensive so what did you start in in campus that led to the journey that you're on well uh in campus, I actually, uh, I, I, I was doing my internship uh, at the time at uh, Safaricom. Mm-hmm. And that's where I met uh, a couple of friends mm-hmm. who introduced me to, uh, to another friend, you know, mutual friends who mm-hmm. were doing business in this, basically this importation business, bringing yeah. stuff from China and selling and all that kind of stuff. And uh, there, was this, uh, there was this birth of an idea of trying to link up pe- uh, people who are selling and people who are buying without that particular aspect of having to build uh, a brick and mortar shop. You know, yeah. I have to go to me, get a shop. Uh, I have to, you know, pay all those goodwills. I have to buy stock and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it was uh, it, it, it was now uh, a wake-up call to try and implement a solution that would more or less, it looks uh, easier in terms of, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the, it's not as much as capital intensive because all you need is the platform itself. Mm-hmm. But then look at on the side of, of this particular vendor you want to also open up open them up to the market you yes. know you want as opposed to the just the physical reach i have a shop in town and i have a shop somewhere else but i can only market as far as i am located and all that stuff yeah. so we try to build this particular solution so that it means that if i am a vendor even in in, in nairobi i can reach out to uh anyone in 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 lodua in kakamega in kisumu and all that all those places yeah. All right. If you haven't checked out Beber, De- Bebermart.co.ke, make a point of uh, checking. I'm seeing all sorts of products. And this, you're saying, these are uh, individuals who wanted to sell these products, but they didn't, They, you know, building an actual shop or going and paying rent in a shop, they would rather do this because this is much more affordable. And that's the solution that you came with. If you're a young business person, because uh, I definitely, I'm going to, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm definitely going to be on, on Bebermat. By the way, do you take mm-hmm. any products or there are specific products that you sell on Bebermat? We have a wide, wide, wide category range. Uh, uh, basically, and I, I, I think uh, Brian will love this, from drinks, from electronics, <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. You yeah. know, the thing is, you, are, you have something that you're selling. Mm-hmm. You are our. You are a person we want to work with. So basically, you can sell on Bebomat whatever mm-hmm. it is you're selling. Yeah. yeah. All right. We've yeah. got Colin Zokach. He is the co-founder of Bebomat.co.k. Whatever questions you've got, if you have checked out a website and you're like Nikona Swanli, ndio isai. Ask now, forever hold your peace. Brayo, kumbo na julikana. Eh, celeb. Msewa drinks, man. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. All right. 
on my grind still going on of course uh, this is that segment we have to uh, you know t- teach ourselves on things learn from other people and today we've got Collins Okach who is the co-founder of Bebamart.ca. Okay, I'm assuming now you have gone out there and you've checked it out. Bebamart is a platform mm-hmm. uh, for entrepreneurs, for business people to connect with the market without necessarily having to have a shop because, you know, those are some of the challenges. But let them go to a goodwill. They can now buy it. Goodwill is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Imagine that you have a goodwill. Yes, you have a goodwill. 2 meter 2 meter na sayo hata sijatengeneza one bob kwa hiyo biashara sasa hizo na uza tu manjumu hey. manjumu sijui mas <laughs> eh hey. utapata wapi hiyo 2 meter imagine so collins wewe una charging goodwill kuingia hii biashara yako hii biashara yetu ni sare 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 bin sare ingia <laughs> pale ina sign up as a vendor yeah. you register uh-huh. unasema jina yako your name of the shop mm-hmm. then you check it Once you check in we approve it on our end we call you hey kwa box unauza nini hivi na hivi this is how we do this is what you be i mean this is what happens when you get an order etc etc yeah unachukua picha zako unaanza ku upload products zako hata mm-hmm. kama uko na product 1 million mm-hmm. zenye hizi tosha kwa hiyo shop yako yenye milipia goodwill ya 1 million yeah. zitatosha yako wow okay, okay. Yeah. are you yeah. able to yeah. vet the people who Are you able to vet the people who bring in their products on your website kwa sababu shida ina kuangana na other marketing platforms mtu amesema anakupatia njumu size 40 hey, kidogo kidogo ni adoli ndio kuna 40 ya watoto and that's actually and that's actually one of the things we are, we, we are changing in, in the e-commerce space mm-hmm. you know uh, kuna kitu inaitwa what you see is what you get yes. Yes. and hiyo ndio kitu tuna encourage peer our vendors mm-hmm. what you are advertising is what you need to be selling and yeah. we are we are very very strict on that because at the end of the day when brand orders something on bebermat he knows that it's coming from bebermat so mm-hmm. it's bebermat's responsibility to ensure brand gets what he wants what he ordered and what he saw mm-hmm. so when combox is online in, on, i mean he's putting up his sh- setting up his shop and uploading uh, her products yeah. we ensure that we check we actually vet we actually check before uki upload product yoyote in a come for site yes but we we, we have to vet it and check okay is the description right you know are the sizes right because you also want to give someone the same experience uh, on online shopping as if they will go also for to a physical shop mm, unajua yeah. ile texture describe hiki kitu ni texture iko hivi na iko vile hiki mm. kitu ni this size and that size so that when i'm buying i'm actually getting what i i want no one wants that back and forth of oh uh, i ordered this and i got that you know it's also discouraging for online businesses yeah. so those are the kind of standards we are also raising i mean we are setting on this particular platform because uh we are looking at customers in both ways you know the vendors are actually uh customers mm-hmm. to bebomat yes. and the customers who buy also okay. customers to bebomat so that relationship we maintain we, we maintain that particular balance to ensure that we grow and we're able to serve each and everyone in a better way shout out to Brian Moninda who's uh tuned in right now big up yourself he says 100% good stuff a unique touch to the e-commerce platform i got to ask you Collins um There's yeah. I mean this is a very highly competitive space. Uh recently I found Absolutely. out that one of the biggest uh, in this space was actually a uh, Ata si Kenya, si mm. Africa iki tu. Huh? Haya. Hizi vitu si Africa wanachukua tu. So Beba Mart is si usitubebe. Hii kitu ni ya Kenya. Iki tu iki tu ni ya Kenya, ni ya wa Kenya, imejengwa na wa Kenya and it's for Kenya. Eh kwa sababu kuna that's actually it's a good point. It's a good point that you raised that because This is also one of the reasons we are here muscling out with uh, these other people because the challenges of also getting into uh, the tech space is yeah. that um unajua sisi wa Kenya shida yetu pia kubwa ni hatujiamini unaona kijanga let's say if the youth there are a lot of people out there who are building uh, a lot of solutions yeah. in, in tech and all that. but the problem is you don't get the right backing in terms of investment locally you yeah, know yeah. so it becomes easier for guys who are coming from you know from whatever because they have that particular financial muscle to come and build things here and you'll find like local investors will want to jump into that it's mm. actually sad that you know jua local investors uh, are not so interested in 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 building local solutions mm. and you know get yeah. behind our own yeah, you know? yeah. and tunashinda tuki promote by Kenya own Kenya and all that kind of stuff mm. it, i mean something that we say but we don't we don't really walk the talk in terms of trying to actually support it directly so that we consume our own yeah so how to consume our own kama how to build our own as well ama how to fund our own startups our mm. own small business 
all that stuff. So yeah. there's, there's we are in a highly competitive, yeah, yeah, we are in a highly competitive market. Yeah. But that doesn't discourage us from starting. I mean, to to to, to create these particular solutions uh, to, to where we can. All know? right. The phone is ringing. Uh, it means uh, there's some questions coming in. Remember, at any point, you can call in or use hashtag VibesMVP or, or VibesRadioKE on Facebook and ask uh, questions. Collins, um. There are a lot of young people who are listening in right now. They've got their biasharas going on. And on I mean, I know what let's start to. Neza, neza, neza kwa kwa beba matkweli ama nazima ni kujena stock. Eh? Ndiyo, ndiyo, niweze kuji update hapo wa beba mat. What is the least amount of product someone can have before they can sell on on beba mat? Not, not, not at all. We do not really, it, it's not about how much you have. It's mm. actually if you actually have the actual product. Mm. So if you have, you are selling a cup and you have five cups or one set you know at the end of the day you want to sell yeah. and it will encourage you after you sell on bebamat to try and replenish your stock so mm. it will it will defeat, it will defeat the purpose if i discourage you or we discourage you to come and list your product because remember yeah. listing the product it costs you nothing mm. you know it costs you and once you sell i don't think you will utafikiria hata ku restock ama ku replenish stock yako so and we really want to support especially the small scale vendors and mm. all that kind of stuff yeah. you know, mm-hmm. guys who do not have that big muscle of of even having a physical store and i realize this is what you realize because that's what we we, we, we used even to do when you build the platform maria kwanza maria kwanza we build the platform was that we didn't have any vendors we just had our own small stock that we brought in some stuff and all that stuff now it's going to look at my list why platform yeah so step by step you know friends who are selling you know we got them on board even we, as we grow so it will defeat the purpose if we start saying okay uh, if you do not have enough stock or you are not a big brand mm. we won't list you as long as we have the product it's properly described you can actually fulfill it when it's ordered that's all it takes all right Colin Zukach, uh, co-founder of Bebamat. Uh, when we come back, there's a lot of questions that have come in. We will give him a chance to respond to those questions. Remember, if you've got any question, this is the time. Otherwise, hold your peace. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. Right now, we've got Colin Zukach, and he's the founder of Bebapay. Any questions you've got, this is the time. Let's go to the phone lines. Hello. Hello, Kambo Finadi. Fiti sana. Bari asubui. Uh, Tunongena nani mwenzetu? Unaombonga na lapi laptop hapo hivyo kutoka Nyeri Mwiga. Mm-hmm. Lapi laptop karibu sana kwenye show kuna swali? Ah, uh, hii sina swali sasa hivi but nilikuwa nataka kupiga tu wase hapo hivi. Okay, <laughs> lakini sasa hivi tena biga bana. <laughs> Make sure you listen in. Okay, there's a lot of questions coming in via Facebook. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me just read. There's a question here. Collins, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you guys. All right, perfect. There's a question here, I think by um S uh, No, there was a question, no question. Mm-hmm. You have questions there? Eh? Yes, I do have Kwambox. What's your return policy? Kwa sababu naweza kuwa na mtoto anaitwa Kwamboka, anacheza na laptop yangu, then kidogo kidogo ame order flat screen why TV. Kwambu, why is the why is the kid called Kwamboka? Anyway, Siko za eh? yeah, ni kuna mtu anaitwa Kwamboka, anacheza na laptop yangu, ame order flat screen, 100 yes. inches. <laughs> Lakini <laughs> shida ni akifika hapa kwa Grao I need the money back. <laughs> What's your return policy? Uh, okay. Uh, when it comes to return policy, uh, different uh, products and different categories are bound by different return policy mm-hmm. policies. And the most sensitive uh, products we, we all know are uh, electronics. Yes. Uh, number one, is, uh, I will want first of all to highlight that all the electronics that we have on Bevermart, ranging from TVs, smartphones, and all that stuff, we have vetted all our vendors, and they are covered by a warranty. Okay. So brayo akini mwakiku ikuwe na shida yoyote inarudi mm. replacement yeah. or repair that is all covered so you don't have that stress of tushakuzia mm-hmm. and then atupatikani tunazima simu mm-hmm. unajua yeah. yes. so that's something that that, that that is that is that we guarantee because we need you today tomorrow we need you to buy that tv next mm. you can buy a fridge next yeah. you can buy a radio etc etc mm. so that is covered Kendall, and when it comes to, uh-huh. yeah sorry sorry there's another question here by Kendall uh um, because we're seeing we're running out of time Kendall is like is Bebemart countrywide or is it focused in a specific region Bebemart is country 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 countrywide you can order anywhere and we will deliver Okay. And not to mention that uh, uh, one of the things we also pride ourselves is uh, is making delivery uh, uh, upon order very fast mm. because we do same day actually delivery for most of our products within Nairobi mm-hmm. and we do next uh, for products outside Nairobi especially products that do not require very special uh, logistical uh, aspects. So yeah. 
very fast shipping and very and also not to mention within Nairobi uh, for our customers we do uh, uh pay on delivery mm-hmm. so you can order your stuff to fill out trust you can order your stuff and once you receive it that's where you pay yeah if outside someone, Nairobi yeah do you also do food stuff because i know that there's a lot of especially now chefs na farmers it's as if it's a bad thing um do you do food stuffs we're actually doing groceries and this is a line that we opened up uh two months three months uh ago yeah mm-hmm. when everyone locked up and when covid happened you yeah. know we saw it to develop this category where people were not really going out and all that stuff mm-hmm. and funny enough people have actually embraced it and it has become uh, a lifestyle we the got, thing is normally when mm-hmm. yeah keep, keep going keep Let's going go we got a yeah, caller oh, normally, we got a caller we got a caller yeah. we got to cut you short max yeah yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> countrywide. I'm, I don't know, Collins, can you hear that question? Yeah, I had the question. Yes. Yeah, we deliver, tell Max, akioda kitu Eldoret uko kote tuna deliver. Tuna deliver Eldoret yeah. anyway in Eldoret tuna deliver. Okay, na nilikuwa na uliza, nilikuwa na kaiki likuwele. Aha. Aha, okay. <laughs> Max, yeah, I just have He's asking if you have a physical shop, and I know the answer to that, but can you answer that? I didn't really get the question. Sorry, Combo. So the, um, other 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 platforms like yours have a collection point in different towns. Do you have that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually an, a process that it's is ongoing. Mm-hmm. So you can tell Max to to basically hit me up after this. Mm-hmm. We are developing a network of uh, people who can uh, we can uh, I mean places we, that can act as uh, pickup and collection points for our customers. Yes. So in other major towns whereby uh, someone can order and just go and self collect at a specific place, that's something that uh, is highly welcome and that is something we can discussion we can take uh, with, take up with him. Okay, Sasa, thank you so much, Collins, for your time and for just sharing with other MVPs who are out there struggling. They are making sure that ends meet, especially wakati wa COVID. Thank you for sh- uh, sh- uh, sharing what y- your business is doing right Collins, now. Collins, is there a reggae song that you like? You know, we can't let you go without some reggae. Or reggae, dancehall, who's your artist? Uh, in reggae... Um let me let me see. I like I like coffee. I don't know. I like uh, I like coffee. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Have you heard a new I song? I uh, I've seen it, but I haven't played. I just saw it on my YouTube playlist, Lucky- but I didn't play. Luckily yeah. for you, we got you. Here's lockdown by coffee, and this one goes out to Collins Okach and the whole Beba Matt team. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation.